Reaction time. Comics Plus, what is going on? Akasun here. Honest trailers. Miss Marvel. Let's uh, see what they have to say about the show. I liked it. I liked it. This episode is presented by Ikea. ba -boom. A hero can come from anywhere. Manhattan, Brooklyn, Jersey, and other parts of New York City. Where are you from? Queens. Queens. But now, the Jersey MCU asks you to imagine the impossible. Could anything good come from Jersey? <laughs> yeah, buddy. Time to GT Triple L. Jim Tan, lay my life on the line for you, Bennies. Let me slam a hoagie and take a shadoobie first, though. Miss Marvel. Iman Vellani stars as Kamala Khan, the first Pakistani American in the MCU to not play an Indian guy. Hi. When a magic person <laughs> unlocks her inner Mario Maker, <laughs> she'll join the MCU's next wave of cool female heroes yeah. who have to carry the heavy burden of standing for Captain Marvel. I know some of you think, well, she abandoned the people of Earth, but like, look, it's, it's not true. Can a woman just live? Oh, so that's where her stretching powers went. Carol Danvers went away. She'd punch a hole in space and time and she'd help them now. Yeah, and then she'd blow up your brother's wedding in a Red Sox jersey. <laughs> Kamala must learn to come okay. out of her shell at school and learn to be proud of who she is, which she'll accomplish after one episode. <laughs> then True. spend the rest of the time running <laughs> from damage control. The department Disney activates when Shuri posts an anti-vax video. Oh. I mean, the group responsible oh. for controlling the damage that they themselves created. Create it, yeah. Blew up my apartment. They're all locked in a battle against the clandestines, exiles who want to return to their world, even though it's made of glass shards. It turns you into a spooky skeleton. Mm. And True. gives your only son a cosmic tummy ache. <laughs> Not a great plan. But come on, don't face another poorly developed Marvel villain alone. She's got three helpers spread evenly across the kind geek to questionable bad boy spectrum. Bruno, a bad swagless boy, Peter bad Parker. Boy. Can't really train today. Oh. We don't hook up with Bruno, no, no, no. The hunky movie geek Comrade. Do you like watch Bollywood movies? Obviously. And the other hunky movie geek, Kareem. Come with me if you want to live. What? Yeah, I've always wanted to say that. Two hunky movie geeks in one show? <sighs> sure. And of course, back at home is Kamala's doting mother, who starts out not trusting her at all. No, I don't trust you. But after her daughter keeps disappearing in foreign countries for hours at a time, totally learns her lesson. And we trust her, right? Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> so enjoy a show Disney clearly didn't believe in, or they wouldn't have buried the first three episodes under Obi Wan. Yeah, which is a shame because the directors made it look cool. It's an I agree. show that's not full of evil Muslims for a change. And oh, by the way, it officially brings mutants into the MCU. There's yep. something different in your genes, like a mutation. Come for the origins of X Men. Stay for the origins of Pakistan. We must go back to a critical <laughs> yeah, moment yeah. in the Indian True. struggle for independence. Starring the fantastic Noor, Marty McShy. Don't tell mom the superpower spread. Yeah, I've got oh, a girlfriend. Wow. She's another dimension, though. You would know her. Kareem Abdul Dagon. Mm. Another MCU Nakia? How we run out of character names already? <laughs> Mad about Yusuf. Deaver and Cleary, damage control. Oh, I get it. The bad guys are DC. Uh. <laughs> okay, that's good. That's pretty good. Again. We are trying to drop the name okay. Nightlight. It's a bad name. It just sounds like it's for five year olds. Red Daggers. What are you in a Pakistani boy band? And when you know you're really in trouble. Kamala Khan. Kamala Khan, you're not going anywhere. I know this is the worst possible time to ask, but. Kamala Khan. Next of Jin. Mm. Next of Jin. Next of Jin. You know, after watching this in RRR last month, I think we can all agree on one thing. Nobody on Earth likes the British. <laughs> Damn. 
This episode was Damn. presented by IKEA. Okay. Start your heroic higher ed journey. Yeah, I thought the show was good. I thought the show was well done. It's days like these that I curse the Chinese for inventing gunpowder. It's always say this epic voiceover guy and never how is epic voiceover guy. Aw, thanks. I'm doing okay. The following Freddy. is rated S for Ugh, why am I Wow. Honest trailers Avengers Infinity War. That's what that's what's next here. I wonder how powerful she's gonna be in the Marvels. That's a good question. Um based on what um we saw in the uh, Avengers uh four point five uh little cruise ship thing i uh, pretty damn powerful i i believe yeah i thought i thought it was re like i really think it's funny to me like honestly i wish they kind of uh yes delayed marvel miss marvel or put it on a different day but yeah it definitely got buried under obi-wan that was so weird for them to release because now we have nothing i have nothing to film on wednesdays my time so here we are just sitting around just kind of waiting for uh she hulk i guess or um harley quinn starts off uh next week i believe so yeah very interesting but no i, th I thought it was i thought it was pretty well done and uh you know that little stinger with x-men at the end that was a well well received uh sort of uh um gif Interesting enough, Kevin Feige did not mention anything about uh, that uh, Miss Marvel sort of X-Men stinger at Comic-Con. So it'll be interesting to see if they're going to talk about it at D23 in a few months or so. We'll see. I enjoyed Miss Marvel more than Obi-Wan. You know what? I did too, honestly. I did too. I thought uh, Obi-Wan was very, very disappointing. Um and uh, at least with, but, but you know, I guess because it it, it's, it has a lot to do with uh, expectation as well. We didn't really expect much of anything from a Miss Marvel, but you know, there's already a standard of what a Star Wars show or what a show about Obi Wan should be. So I, I think that's the deal. All right, till next one, guys. We're out. Peace.